Morning guys, um, welcome back to my garden um, on a sunny but pretty chilly morning. Um, we're going to be looking at some more cricket stuff today that you can do at home or if you can get out to the park. Now we're allowed to exercise away from our home and do a bit of sport. Um, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, but guys, ultimately we're still going to be looking at some hand-eye coordination, some catching stuff. A um, little bit of batting moving on from that straight drive, trying to add some competition into maybe playing an off and an on drive. Uh, and then look a little bit at the technique of the sweep and the cut, which is quite difficult to do at home, but we'll, we'll give it a little go. Okay, so first things first is we are going to look at the um, catching stuff. Okay, it's really, really important that we are challenging, us, challenging ourselves, but also managing to have some success. Okay, so we're aware, all, obviously all of the PE staff, that some of you will be higher ability, some of you might not be quite so strong at cricket or quite so comfortable with your hand-eye coordination. So if you are feel like you're progressing with what we've done before previously in our videos, um, the juggling, the two-handed catching, the catching on the move that Mr. Sweeney did last week, then please, please, please revisit that um, repeat that and make sure we're improving all the time. If, however, you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, hopefully I'll be able to show a few options now of how we can make that more and more difficult. Two-handed, one-handed, hopefully get a bit of a turn involved which might make it a bit more difficult. Clapping before we catch, all these sorts of things will make it more difficult and challenge us to improve. Okay, so watch the clips, practice them, there'll be some advice on how we can practice them and how many times we want you to do it and there'll also be some challenges set. Enjoy guys, keep working hard. But as Mr. Sweeney said last week, most importantly, get yourself outside, get active and get doing sport. So the first little challenge or test is trying to catch below our knees. Okay, so imagine you're in a slip fielding um, position, whether we can get our two hands to the ball. Okay, we want to give ourselves a nice big catching area okay so we get our hands nice and big with our little fingers touching trying to keep them together we're going to feed against the wall catch in that position okay after that we're trying to feed against the wall and catch one hand but remember everything's going to be below our knees if it pops up above that's fine we just shift and move our body but we keep a big catching position okay and i just want you to practice doing as many as you can and see how we get on okay but we need a tennis ball or a similar bigger area if you've got one. Maintaining that big catching area all the time. And try to push yourself to move left and right. Then you move further away, you're gonna to have to throw it a bit harder. Okay, and it is more difficult to feed. But I'm staying nice and low in that strong position and I'm moving my hands from side to side. Now we're going to try and do it one-handed. Feed one-handed, catch one-handed. Still below the knee. Oh. Put it down with the left there. Okay. Straight away, it's much, much harder. So this is a bit of a kind of warm-up task to get our hands moving. So what I'd like to do is do at least 20 successful catches two-handed. Challenge yourself to move left and right with your hands as much as possible, keeping that strong base. And then challenge you to do 20 successful catches with catching with one hand, okay? That is, it does get more difficult. You make the area that you can throw against slightly wider, slightly bigger, okay? That makes it more difficult. Making sure we're throwing and catching, bent over with our hands below our knees, making it difficult to catch like it is in the slip. So now we're going to try adding claps before we put, before we catch it. Still feeding against that same door wall that you've got outside. Again, still trying to catch effectively with that large catching area. Little fingers knit together, catching it nice and solidly. So first things first, I'm going to try and do 20. Throw against the wall, catch one clap before I catch it. Okay, it should be nice and easy and I'll see how quickly I can do 20. Standing three meters back from the wall. So for me, it's two big steps. Okay. nice and easy. The next progression, I'm sure you've guessed it, two claps before you catch it. Same start position. Keeping that. Keeping 
give them that big catching area, keeping a nice strong base, should be nice and easy. You can get a little bit close if you want to make it more difficult. Yeah, so obviously the ball rebounds slightly quicker, so we need to make sure we're getting our two claps in. Nice and simple. So I'm going to go back to being slightly further away again, see if I can throw it and do three claps before I catch it. Ready to go. Last two. Only did two and it put me off. So straight away that becomes more difficult. Again, the challenge, the time it takes you to do 20 with one clap, the time it takes you to do 20 with two claps, and the time it takes you to do 20 with three claps. Three claps is pretty difficult. You might need to move slightly further back. Okay, it's all about us kind of distracting ourselves and maybe losing a little bit of focus because we're concentrating on the clapping and then refocusing on the ball and refocusing on the catching. Making sure at all times we have that nice big catching area. We feed and we catch the ball. Yeah, if the ball's a bit higher, we can bring our hands up and catch it there. We maintain those little fingers touching. We maintain that big catching area. If it drops down lower, exactly the same. Because we've got a nice strong base, feet shoulder width apart, we should be able to catch it nice and simple. Okay, the highest level of this sort of clapping task, we're now going to change it again. Okay, so we're going to try and clap, throw it against the ball wall, clap behind the back and then catch it. Okay, and again, I want to see how quickly you can do 20. I'm going to try and do 20 now and see how long it takes me. Okay. So I'm going to come further back here so I've got a bit more time. Ah, oh, completely messed it up. Just there, clap. You really need to concentrate now. Okay, make it a bit harder, a bit closer. Ah, oh, got myself all muddled up there, okay. Nice, simple. So, Practice that for a while, it's quite difficult. Okay, and then after you've practiced it for a while, okay, you can uh, try and subscribe, try and record how quickly you can do 20. Last one now, can you throw, clap in front, clap behind, and then catch it? I've got no idea whether I'm gonna be able to do this. I've got no idea how good I'll be at it. Let's see, it might be a bit of a giggle, okay? So I'm gonna start further back again, so I've got a bit more time. Got the claps in, dropped it, not good enough. So straight away, as I said, I haven't done it before. Already seeing, I've got to throw and clap immediately. If there's even a little pause between my throw and my clap at the front, I'm struggling, okay? So throw and clap in the same movement. That's what I've just found. Hands behind your back and then try and catch it, okay? Much, much better. It's definitely tricky. See if you can get to 20 again, see what time you've got. All of these times you'll be able to enter on the assignment sheet on tasks, okay? On assign the task um, sheet on assignments. Keep practicing, spend plenty of time doing it. You've got plenty of the afternoon to do it and enjoy being outside. All right guys, one final progression for our hand-eye coordination and catching. Okay, it's gonna make it really, really difficult. So it's gonna involve facing away from your door or wall. It's gonna involve throwing the ball behind you in different ways, and then turning and trying to set yourself, get that wide catching um, area in your hands and taking successful catches, okay? So there's quite a lot of stages to it and we'll go through it gradually. So, similar distance away from the wall, about that three meters, and now facing away, because my wall's there. Okay, so I'm facing away with the ball. First things first, what we're gonna try and practice is staying low, throwing it through my legs, against the wall, turning and catching. Let's see how we get on. One successful one. Two. Oh, throws a bit low then. So, obviously guys, it's just putting our catching under more pressure. It's not specifically to, to, to do with the game. You're not be looking away from the ball when you catch it, hopefully. 
COVID, it's just putting ourselves under more pressure to quickly those catches. So now you can throw it under your legs, you can throw it around to your left, around to your right, use different hands, you can throw it over your shoulder, maybe you don't throw it up on the roof. Okay, but we're trying to test ourselves as much as we can. Make sure you don't always turn left or always turn right. Um, you need to sort of alternate between the two. Also, you might get a bit dizzy if you keep it in the same way. Okay, so I'm probably gonna drop a few here because it's quite difficult, but let's see how I get on. And again, it might be a bit of a giggle if I drop loads. Okay, so starting through the legs for now, about three meters away from the wall. Oh, nice and easy for the foot, so high. The lower the throw, the harder it is because it comes back quicker. There you go. Okay, now around the side. Oh, a little one-hander. Oh, came off the edge of the frame. Terrible bounce. Okay, so now a few more options of how to throw. Over your shoulder. Turn and catch. I see. Throw it harder, and it will bounce back quicker. Again, let's come straight up to the door frame. Terrible bounce. The door frame's killing me here. Nice and simple. Well, not simple, I made it look really difficult. Okay, so, different throws between your legs around the side to the left, around the side to the right, over your right shoulder, over your left shoulder. Only after you release it, spin and catch. You can catch two or one-handed. Try and do 20 successful ones after a period of practice. Okay, and then make sure you get your score submitted. It's pretty difficult. I've made it look really difficult. Hopefully, we can see you guys doing an awful lot better.